Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how to install shaders and Optifine on the 1.18 version of Minecraft on Multi-MC using the native ARM version on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you haven't already followed the tutorial, I'm going to leave a link to this video in the description. You'll need to have followed all of these steps in order to move on to the next step to, in order to install shaders and Optifine, etc. So we're going to have a version of Minecraft 1.18, which we're going to be editing in order to move on to the next step. So the steps we're going to be following comes from one of my Discord users, mhasign138. I'm going to leave a link to this GitHub page in the description which contain the original instructions. And basically, I'm going to be following along with these today. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to download Optifine. So I'm going to leave a link to this in the description too. I'm going to download the latest version here. If you can't see the preview versions for 1.18 here, you can expand this here. And we're going to download this pre-6 version here. Click download. So here we'll click skip and then click download. If you download this with Chrome, it might ask you whether you want to keep or discard it. Make sure we keep this. So the next step is that we need to download something called Optifabric. This basically allows us to download and install Optifine without the use of the Fabric mod loader. So basically at the top of this page, we're gonna click the download file here and we're gonna keep this file as well, keep. And then we're gonna to go to our multi-MC. We're gonna find our instance of Minecraft that we've built using the native ARM version. And then we're gonna control click and then edit instance. Here we're going to now install Fabric. So I'm gonna install Fabric here with this button on the right column. So we're gonna select the latest version, which is the latest at the time of recording and press okay. Then we're gonna to go to Finder and then we're gonna find our downloads folder here. We're gonna install all these mods. So in our edited instance, we're gonna click on loader mods here. We're gonna drag each of these files over. So that's Optifabric and this is Optifine. Then we can close Finder. Next thing, if we want to actually download the shader, I'm going to leave a link to Silda's shaders in the description. We're gonna to go to the download section here. Now what we're gonna do here is download the 1.31, which was just updated to support 1.18. We're gonna use the high motion blur version and click download here. Here, press skip and then click this download button. Then we're gonna to go to our downloads folder. So once we've downloaded the shaders, what we need to do next is to go ahead and edit the instance of MultiMC. So we're gonna control click on our 1.18 ARM version. We're gonna click edit instance. And we're gonna to go to version on the sidebar tab here. And we're gonna to go to open.minecraft. And this is gonna contain the folders that we need. Specifically, we need the shader packs folder, which we're gonna double click on. And basically we wanna move our shader pack zip file into this folder. So I'm gonna move this here now. And that's gone into the shader packs folder. So we're gonna minimize all of these now and then click close on this multi-MC window. And when I double click on this 1.18, we're gonna be loading the native ARM version with Optifine and shaders enabled. So here in the bottom left, we can see that Optifine 1.18 is installed and we have the fabric mod there. Here we're gonna click options and then video settings. We're gonna to go to shaders here and then we have the option here to load Silda's Vibrant shaders. So I'm just going to show the difference. I'm gonna load up my world. Let's full screen this first go to single player and then click my world. So I have my information here. So if I press escape and then go to options, I'm gonna change my video settings. It's gonna confirm that we're in 1080p at the moment. And then I'm gonna to go to my shaders. I'm gonna turn on Silver's Vibrant Shaders with motion blur turned on. Here I'm gonna press done. And I can definitely see that the graphics are very different. We've got about 30 FPS running on the M1 Max chip. I'm just gonna turn off the frame rate so you can actually see some of the actual level. This is uh, looking very nice, very smooth. And uh, yeah, we're running at this render setting at the moment, 12 chunks, 120 FPS, graphics fancy, etc. So it's running not too bad. I'm just gonna confirm here, I'm gonna put it back into a little window. So I can confirm that Java is running under the Apple kind. So this is the native ARM version of Java, and this is running at pretty good performance. I'm just going to full screen this again. So this is how the game looks. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.